how do we know that programs are correct? What are the sources of knowledge about that kind of correctness? Douglas McKenzie, a sociologist of technology, in his book Mechanizing Proof, identifies three categories that can be sources of knowledge about programs and other artifacts. The first is authority. We're just told so by some trusted person. The second is inductive reasoning. We observe, experiment, test, and use, and come to observations and conclusions based on that. The third is deductive reasoning. We construct proofs based on theories and models. Authority on its own is a weak source of knowledge about programs. Working programmers know that they will make mistakes to which they are blind. Trust me, the code will work? No, that's a claim that needs to be backed up by evidence. Inductive reasoning is the typical source of knowledge about programs. It is an application of the scientific method, and it's taught from the beginning of programming courses. We learn how to construct test cases. Good programmers instill that as a habit. Later, we learn to construct automated test suites, how to use methodologies and tools to identify more test cases. And in large-scale efforts, teams of people are paid to explore and find bugs. But inductive reasoning doesn't always suffice. Programs are too big and too hard to reason about. Though we'd never want to abandon inductive reasoning, eventually it becomes worthwhile to devote the effort to deductive reasoning. Make no mistake, it can require much more effort to reason deductively about programs. The effort is rewarded, though, by eliminating errors in programs and the consequences that could result from those errors. The most widely deployed success story of deductive reasoning about programs is exactly what our hypothetical CS major discovered in the previous video, static type systems. At the relatively small cost of writing down types in programs, a compiler can automatically find errors. The compiler performs the deductive reasoning to determine whether there are type errors, and the human designer of the type system itself uses deductive reasoning to prove that the type system is sound, by which I mean that well-typed programs don't go wrong. Note that the perfection of deductive reasoning isn't necessary for there to be valuable benefits. For example, the type system might be strong enough only to express that a function takes in an integer as input and produces an integer as output. It might not be strong enough to express that the function computes, say, a factorial. As another example, the type system might not be complete, by which I mean there could be programs that would never go wrong and yet cannot be typed with it. Or perhaps typecasts might need to be inserted that can't be statically checked and could fail at runtime. Nonetheless, the usefulness of type checking in large programs is well accepted. And lest Python be brought up as a counterexample, consider this. The static type checker our hypothetical CS major discovered was built by a company named Dropbox to analyze its code base of 4 million lines of Python. That effort was deemed worth the cost, and it led to changes in Python itself.